I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Police were called in to an accidental shooting in Pennsylvania on Monday when a 17-year-old shot himself in the leg while adjusting the gun he was carrying inside his sweatpants. He was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Although, in this kid's case, it could have been a head injury and still not have been non-life-threatening. Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton will debate tomorrow, Thursday, at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. To seem like a real New Yorker, Hillary will pepper her responses with stuff like, yo, and how you doing? Ticketmaster announced earlier this week that by the end of the month, they will be selling event tickets directly through Facebook. Yep, you heard it right. The two websites you hate the most are now working together. House Speaker Paul Ryan held a press conference yesterday to inform America that you can count me out as a candidate for president in 2016. Yeah, but isn't that exactly what he said about becoming House Speaker? Starbucks has issued an apology for a message written on one Florida customer's grande white mocha cup on which a barista reportedly placed their name with diabetes here I come. The customer said the joke was especially painful because he has two sisters who suffer from type 1 diabetes. And he personally suffers from a lack of humor. Get over it! It's a cup of coffee! Ten minutes from now, that cup's in the trash anyway. President Obama's approval ratings are at an 18-month high, and he has Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton to thank for it. A guy in Malaysia was speechless when he received a $218 trillion phone bill and was ordered to pay up within 10 days or face prosecution. The man said he disconnected his late father's phone line in January after he died and settled the $23 bill. But the phone company later sent him a bill for $218 trillion for recent telephone calls. Sounds like somebody is trying to call his dad in the afterlife. Collect. I'm Darren Marlar. You can find more weird news stories anytime at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. While you're there, you can also download the free mobile app. And if you enjoy the show, consider becoming a supporter through Patreon, where my Patreon weirdos get exclusive weird content and merchandise, and also entered into monthly drawings for great prices. All that and more at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. 